Good evening. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, QuakePrediction.com. It is 7.42 in the evening, Wednesday, February 16th, 2022, 7.42 p.m. Wednesday, February 16th, 2022. And we've got a lot of information to cover here. Let's go to the California forecast. And uh, this is the same forecast map from yesterday. And you can see the... Uh, the risk is centered here in the Los Angeles basin. Uh, today, let's look at what we got today here. Um, we had a 3.1 up here in the Southeast San Francisco Bay and a 3.0 here in San Simeon. And then we got a 3.4, you see how it's kind of, uh, a 3.4 in San Simeon. We got a 2.7 down here just northwest of LA. So uh, things are moving in that direction toward uh, the Los Angeles area. And uh, that 3.4, by the way, here in San Simeon was in the 85% risk area over here. Now this is where all the action is gonna start hitting. This, um, as we said yesterday, the risk is highest on the 18th, which is uh, Friday and Saturday and Sunday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 18th to the 20th is when the risk is highest in the, uh, uh, Los Angeles basin here. And, um, close that down there. So, um, we're expecting a 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake in the Los Angeles, Los Angeles basin, uh, today, the 16th through the 21st, most likely on the 18th which is Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, 18th, 19th, or 20th. All right, so uh, if your friends and family don't know about it, let them know that we're looking for a strong earthquake in the Los Angeles area uh, during the next uh, five or six days, most likely on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. And we should start seeing some foreshocks there very soon. All right, in Greece, the risk is down here. Now this. This one, this risk that we just, uh, this risk map we just made uh, starts tomorrow on the 17th. And the risk will be in southwestern Greece at 85%. So they could get a 4.0 to 5.0 as possible in southwestern Greece, kind of western Crete. And southwest Greece is uh, possible a 4.0 to 5.0. In Chile, we had mentioned uh, this area just east of La Serena. And I believe today they got a, let's check it out here. I think they got a uh, four point something over there. Let's see, let's go down to Chile. Yeah, 4.1 in La Serena, <clears throat> which is right in this area. We had mentioned La Serena had a possibility of getting an earthquake. <laughs> they just got one a little while ago in that area. And then on the uh, 15th through the 17th, the risk moves to near Copiapo. And then it kind of moves offshore here, uh, west of Copiapo and southwest of Antofagasta on the 17th and 18th. In Italy, this is the forecast map from yesterday. And you can see this risk is in the same area here for the 16th through the 21st, looking for a uh, 4.0 to 5.0, uh, probably closer to 4.5. A 4.5 earthquake is likely in Sicily or far Southern Italy during the next uh, few days. So we'll keep an eye on that. Peru, the risk is up here in the Northeast and way in the South part of uh, Peru and Japan, we showed this map to you yesterday. <clears throat> the uh, risk is centered here near uh, Nagoya, Shizuoka, uh, Yokohama and near uh, Tokyo. So we're looking for a strong earthquake. Uh, 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is likely in this area from Nagoya, Shizuoka to Tokyo uh, during the next uh, three days or so. And this uh, map here, is another forecast model that shows it pretty much in the same area near Tokyo, 
the 18th and 19th. Right now it's the 17th over there. So um, during the next uh, 72 hours, we should get a strong earthquake uh, close to Tokyo. So be aware in Japan, this could be a very strong earthquake close to the Tokyo Chiba uh, Shizuoka area of uh, Japan, the next 72 hours. And there's another forecast model right there, very high risk. All right, as we said, the uh, uh, looks, yesterday we had a 4.7 up here in the 85% risk area. And now you can see the, the risk is moving south, 3.4, and then this one is a 2.7. But the risk is centered right here in the Los Angeles basin. Uh, we got a 6.8 today, 6.8 earthquake. Uh, southeast of Fiji today, 6.8 earthquake, big quake. It's kind of out there in the ocean, though, so it didn't have much effect on the land. And we had a 6.2 right in Guatemala, southwest of Guatemala City. And that was felt widely across the southern portion of, uh, you can see this map here, widely across southern Guatemala. I haven't seen the damage on that yet, but I'm sure there'll be, uh, be some damage from that earthquake. All right, 6.2 in Guatemala, 6.8 over there in uh, southeast of the Fiji Islands. And here's the most current forecast or other uh, earthquakes in California. And watch for some foreshocks and uh, we could get that earthquake even tonight. The risk is uh, from Today, the 16th through the 21st, most likely to hit Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, but it is locked and loaded there in that area in the LA basin. It could happen at any time between now and the 21st, but most likely again on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, strong earthquake in the Los Angeles basin. Uh, please warn your friends and family about that. You can go to quakeprediction.com and check out these forecasts and forecast maps, and we will be uh, adding new data and new forecast models every day to keep things updated and accurate and precise. So um, thanks for uh, your support. Thanks for stopping by today. And um, 17 years of research, 187,000 followers from uh, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And thank you to every one of you. And uh, we will talk to you very soon, be unaware in the LA basin. Also be very careful in the Tokyo area, looking for a very strong earthquake in the LA basin and Tokyo area during the next 72 hours. We will talk to you tomorrow, thanks.